What's great is they extend as well. So they adapt to the length of your line. And so you can put them onto any curved line you want to create that cool profile. The last one I'll mention is a cool tool, which a lot of people don't necessarily know how to use. I'm gonna select first, like the thick and thin profile. And then I'm gonna look for the width tool. Now, it has a strange little icon that I always call the Loch Ness Monster. But if I click on it, you'll see when you go over to your activated line, it puts a little circle on the vector line. And when you click and drag, it actually either pinches or expands the line. Or if there's an existing point, you can hover right there on that existing point and adjust it. And so you can create these variable you know, distortions on that stroke line just by using the, the width tool. So you have like absolute control over the length and width of that line. All right.